Alright guys, welcome back to another fan demo review. This is Super Ivano, who plays in open as a roaming soldier. And we're playing this map on CP Pro Lands. And I recognize Nade from the last uh, demo review that we did. So, that's pretty cool. And Super Ivano, jumping right in. Going for that greedy air shot. Nice, nice peek around the corner here to get that opening frag. And awesome stuff. All right. If you guys want to get your demos reviewed, by the way, don't forget to check out our community Discord, discord.gg slash Mr. Slim. Um, already getting two frags on this middle. I thought you did pretty well. Super Ivano's message to me is, please help. My team got destroyed. And uh, so far, it looks like you're getting a lot of frags. So I actually don't see that. Whoa, big damage there, but not quite getting that frag. Nice try, though. I actually would have preferred that you stay alive in this situation because the enemy team is playing defensively and um, as you can see from the top of my screen, you guys are six players alive. Now, you already killed a couple players on mid, so you're kind of expecting that you have a number advantage, you could begin pushing into yard, and I would have preferred that you jump on top of Spire in instead. What you can do from on top of Spire is spam their combo and put pressure on the medic to back their demo man off the choke and get your team in. Uh, so I would have preferred to see that instead, but you know, I'm, I'm a much more uh, conservative uh, play style, I like to go for something that's a little bit safer. And um, what you went for right there was, in my book, pretty aggressive. You know, like you're just kind of all inning on the enemy combo. And whenever you all in, you leave yourself open to getting picked off and losing the advantage that you have. So, um, you know, it's not really bad thing to go for a sacrifice play there. It's just, in my mind, not the ideal play to go for. Um, Anyways, so you're going to respawn and head out here. And one of the things I like to do when I watch someone play for the first time, and one of the things that you guys all should do when you watch someone play for the first time, is kind of get a sense of the, of the person's mechanics. How good are they at the game for, like, how much control they have? And, you know, already at mid, we saw that he knew how to rocket jump. We saw that Super Ivano knows how to miss air shots, and we saw that he knows how to generally have decent uh, control of his rockets. So... Kind of getting a sense of his, his mechanics right here as your team goes two players down. And one of the things that I'm seeing you do here is go for a flank play. Now, you do have a back cap potential, right? You got a lot of capture time on Spire. So you could potentially go for that cap, but the scout spots you out here. And rocket aim could be improved. Eh, get the frag there. I'll take it. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, you had an opportunity to get on top of Spire. I would have wished you moved a little bit quicker. The scout coming behind you was definitely a surprise. But, uh, ooh, this is really, really good. Super Ivano with the super frags. Dude, you are, generally speaking, like as I'm watching you play, you're really, really good with the game sense. Like I, I get a, I get that feeling from you that you know how to put yourself in the right position at the right time to get frags. I haven't seen you make too many errors when it comes to putting yourself in the right spot to get the frag. So generally pretty good play here for an open level player. Um, and looks like you're at the forward spawn here. Oh, this is a very aggressive jump here into the house. And the timing is such that the enemy is just not checking that you jumped in here. So you're actually very fortunate with the timing. Oh my god, they're, they're spotting you out though. They know you're there. You go for a jump, you get your head bumped. And force the medic. Ooh. That's three for three, Ivano. Like, yeah, sure, it's not flawless to the play that you made there. Obviously, there's a little bit of bumps. But the general concept... Very, very solid, right? The first play that you made, the first life you had, you got two kills. Second life, you had two kills. Third life, you got an uber force. So you're three for three in my book right now, Ivano. You're doing great. And um, so you're saying, help. My team's getting destroyed. I'm doing all the right things. My team's getting destroyed. Uh, you know, sometimes it's going to happen. Sometimes you make the right plays and your team still gets destroyed. That doesn't mean you should change your behavior. It just means you should, you know, keep on doing what you're doing and then work with your team to correct some of the mistakes that they're making. Like that one right there. Partially your fault, not 100% your fault, because your medic could have popped that uber, dropped down, and blocked the point. So, you know, it's a shared responsibility there. Generally speaking, though, I'd say that you're playing really well. Uh, there's not too much more I could ask from you uh, in this game. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. For the purposes of a demo review, I like to also watch players that are doing really well. Uh, because it's something that we can all learn from. So... You're going for the same bomb you went for last time, except for this time. Oh, you should have gotten that demo. You really... Oh, you got to avoid that invisible wall. Oh, my God. It's... You're a dead man. You're a dead man walking. All right. You know, I really think that your rocket jumps could be deeper. Um, 
that's just something I've I generally noticed right there. Is that you had like two rocket jumps on that mid that were just like not ideal. You know, like when you're jumping off of that hoodoo to the top right train, I would like to see you get more just like deeper. Because then you would have had a better angle to kill the demo man. And because you your jump didn't go as far as, as I would have liked, um, I just didn't see you getting those frags. Uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing was the, the second jump around the corner of the train. Just You got to know there's like an invisible wall there. But I actually think that you already put their demo man out of the fight. You didn't need to follow up and kill that demo man. For all intents and purposes, that demo man was basically out of the fight. And out of the fight sometimes is just as good as dead. So I don't think you needed to follow up on that demo man frag. All right. Good frag here in the bottom left on that scout, by the way. And... Uh, okay, just watch, watch, watch and waiting. Let's just keep playing here. All right. Sometimes I like to fast forward, but uh, generally speaking, um, I probably should have watched the whole way through because then I can spot out like the mistake that was made here when you got back at. Um, I don't know. It's tough, man. It's tough. But I like to skip the boring parts. So. <laughs> you're like Mr. Slip. You're the worst. You skipped the only part that was worth reviewing right there. You watched all the good parts and you skipped the bad part where he messed up and got his team back kept. That's okay there. Actually, your rollout's kind of kind of bad. Um, you should be at 300 right here. So, one of the things you can do to work on your rollout, I noticed, is uh, make sure your medic crit heals you in, in spawn to give you 300 to start things off. Then as you're jumping in the lobby, I noticed that your lobby jump up the stairs is not the most efficient, so you can work on that and practice that. Um, you should be able to like slide up those stairs if you're doing it properly. And then the third one is as you jump towards uh, towards Valley out of drop down, there's a way you can do it to end up with more health. But overall, your pocket soldiers are 300, which is a good thing, but your medic could be doing a better job of getting you to 300 before this starts off. Uh, looks like you're going for a top left bomb. Again, that's a very shallow bomb. I'm sorry for pausing so much. I just, I'm just noticing that as a general trend is that your jumps are not going very deep. You get the frag there, which is good. Ooh, a lot of damage in the closet. I like that. And nice rocket on the scout. And you got the kill. What? Is that fall damage? Oh my god. Yeah, generally speaking, on these mids, you've been getting two kills each. But I, I feel that. So even though you're getting kills, you're not exactly doing what I would have hoped to see you do on this mid. Like, I want to see you take pressure off of your team. It's good to get kills, but you need to be getting pressure off your team. And what that means is, you know their enemy team is getting through the closet. And you put a lot of damage into the closet for sure, but your team as a whole did not stop them from getting to the closet and winning the mid. So what could you do to improve that? Next time you could do a better job of stuffing that closet with rockets. Next time you could jump over the train behind them and turn them around or there's there's something else you could do you could jump onto the point and then do a bigger jump into closet to put pressure there i mean two frags is still good like it's hard for me to criticize a mid where you get kills but uh yeah it really depends on your team style like an argument could be made that your team would have gotten those kills either way i i don't think so but uh, an argument could have been made that way. Good kill, by the way, bottom left. Okay, so I'm watching your push out. And I noticed that you have two people covering this left side here. And I don't think I saw anyone go drop down. You, you guys should be fine, though. Uh, you guys have a lot of frags. So, this is pretty greedy. Wait, kill the demo man behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the demo man's back there. Okay, good, 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 good. You backed off. Okay. I would have liked to see you uh, jump deep again. Same thing about the deep jump. I would just like to see you jump into the house and just try and kill the demo man. But, uh, you didn't have to go for it. It's fine. You. Uh, one thing that I do appreciate is like a, a roamer who plays conservatively and like doesn't feed frags over. So it's good that you did that. I noticed that um, in a lot of these situations, you like you end up with your combo, uh, like helping them out. And like when I say helping the combo, I mean like you're right next to the medic. Like that was a situation I saw right there. Uh, but there's there's another time if you if you look back in this scrim where like you're playing with the medic, and I actually 
I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of roaming soldiers playing with the medic and taking a lot of heals. I want the heals to go to the scouts, because the scout is the most like powerful class in the game right now. And the more heals you can put on scouts, the better. And I think that you playing with the combo is just asking for more heals. This, by the way, was a bad call to get behind them when they were pushing your last point. So, But you, you know that on your own without me telling you. Um, but just like generally speaking, I don't like to put a lot of heals in my roaming soldier because uh, I feel like scout is a much more efficient class to heal. And so I would rather my roaming soldier die and my scout stay alive than my scout die and my roaming soldier stay alive. Uh, I'm not saying you should be dying, but I would prefer that your scouts play closer to your medic and then you play somewhere else that takes less heals. Uh, I would never put my back to the train like that because you're just asking for splash damage. Baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, those frags. Ooh, those frags. Ooh, kill the man. Oh, why'd you let him go? You got 220 health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice, nice. Yeah, you, that was really conservative of you, but I, I like this philosophy that you have. Like, as I'm watching you play, you are very focused on survival. Uh, despite putting yourself in a position where you took a lot of damage, like you are survival first, kill second, which uh, I really appreciate. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just not a fan though of you shooting the same things that your combo shooting all the time. I don't know, maybe I just, I just have a different mentality of how rumors played, but like I'm kind of getting used to the style as I'm watching you play because I don't see this very often. But I prefer a roaming soldier who's on the flank more often. Um, and when I'm looking for a class to clean up the frags near my combo, I'm really looking for scouts to be the ones to do that. I'm not really used to seeing like a roaming soldier who's cleaning up the frags around my medic. Because in my mind, like this is where you should live. You should live here on the flank. And like where you get your heals from is typically not your medic, although your medic can, cross a, can throw a crossbow at you from across the map. But I would like to see you like getting a lot of health packs and leaving the health, the heals to your pocket demo scouts. Uh, this is uh, a spot you can't hide in that spot anymore because you're playing Prolander, and I think they uh, not Prolander, Prolands, and they, I, I believe they fixed it. This is just really good game sense. This is just really, really good from you. Like, you can't really ask for much more than what you're doing right now. Like, you're getting frags, you're getting Uber forces. Uh, generally, really good. Uh, am I correct in assuming that you don't have a microphone? I've seen that happen to you a couple times where you like type in the chat like oh, yeah Don't go sniper or like I force their medic like that's really awkward to type this out unless your team's comms are so cluttered that you feel like you have to type But uh, or maybe you have like an uber bind or something or like not an uber bind but like a forced bind like a chat bind But uh, yeah, you, you should be you should have to be typing this stuff out. It's kind of weird um, Wow, this is very aggressive of you, but good call to take the pack away. I like that. Oof, this is very aggressive. I think at a higher level you get punished for that because a 300 health soldier is going to punish you against your 200 health, even though you have a health pack, but generally, generally good. I, I like how you notice how they don't have anyone on the flank and you're just looking at this opportunity to like force their medic. Oh my god, this guy's game sense. You're like outplaying this team really, really well. Yeah, just just really, really solid gameplay. I like that so much. Yeah, you're typing in chat like med dropped go go go. It's just it's just weird. But yeah, even though you kill their medic, your team loses that. Like, I would highly recommend that you don't type things or don't communicate to your team in a negative way like that and tell your team like, how did we lose that? I mean like it's okay to be frustrated and it's okay to like vent your frustration but there's a better way to do it that's not so like negative that's gonna like bring your team's morale down because while you made a really good play and you feel really good about it your teammates probably don't feel so good about messing that up and uh you telling them how badly they messed it up probably doesn't make them feel that good um and again i like this position holding the flank a lot more than i like the position of you holding on the left side over there by uh pride rock Although I understand why you would hold there if they had like uber advantage or you think they're going to push or something. Looks like they popped into you guys. You guys pop back. And your demo man is so aggressive. You guys are really overextended. Oh, ye oh geed. Yeah, your, me your mech just getting split up from the rest of your team. Like that's just not. Yeah, okay. That's rough. That's a completely different topic though, mostly looking at your gameplay. 
But I think you you mentioned in your comments like why why is our team getting rolled? Um, there's some things that your combo needs to work out, but I'm not sure like what your role is on the team as far as like who's the captain or whatever. But yeah, that's something I'd communicate to your team is like working together and like trying not to let them get split up like that and die. Like we're making really good plays. This is really good. What you did right there is really good. I think. Uh, Sorry, I should rephrase. The result is really good, but how you went about getting it is kind of bad. I think you're going to get away with plays like that at this level, but at a higher level, that should not happen. And I think maybe in the back of your mind, you might even know that that should not happen, but you just know that you can get away with it at this level. Um, yeah. Like at a higher level, you would probably just feed the kill over and not get any kills out of it. Oh my god! He's on fire! He is just wrecking. Oh my god. Super Ivano. Super Ivano. I I mean, I love that you're doing so well. But uh, I would, I'm would. i happy to do a demo review of your gameplay where you're losing. So I can like give you some constructive criticism. Because generally speaking, there's not too much that I say to someone when they're winning like this. So I think the plays you're making are generally very good. Oh my god. This is just what the what the what the what. <laughs> Okay, that was... See, this is exactly what I was talking about. Remember I said now... I'm going to pause right here. Remember I told you, like, you don't want to be feeding kills over and, a, like, a better team would punish you for a play like that? The first time I said that, you got a, a trade with the roamer, one for one. And that's, like, a net... Like, a, that's, like, a net neutral kind of play. Like, you didn't gain anything out of it. You slowed them down a little bit. You freaked them out. But trading for the roamer... I mean, it's a good play because you're going to get better spawns in them, so it's a net win. But kind of a net neutral play because you trade one for one with the roamer. This play... You bomb into the choke. None of your teammates are there to help you out at all. And you just get killed 4v1. And you turn a situation where your team has uber advantage and you're going to be pushing middle with very large uber advantage into a 5 versus 6 push. And an another one of your teammates died as well. So it's a 4 versus 6 push. So you just made it that much harder for your team to win that. So even though you're saying med's low, do something off of that. What you really should be saying is, my bad, I fed the kill when I shouldn't be feeding. Uh, okay. Uh, your, your medic needs to be like really building, but. Alright. That's a topic for another day. Alright. And this play right here, too, where you jump into the house, like, it's risky, but I've seen you do it a couple times and you get away with it. And, oh my god, you're about to get away with it again. No! The medic got out! Oh my god, what a magician. He got an Uber saw too. Jeez. That's kind of a beef right there. This is all obvious stuff though. I don't think you need me to tell you this for a demo review. I think generally speaking, like, I've seen a lot of good plays out of you in the scrim, so this is, uh, this was, this was generally pretty good. I'm gonna stop right here. I think the feedback that I would give you for the future is, uh, you really need to work on your rocket jumps. I, I just feel like your overall mastery of rocket jumps is good for an open level. But if you really want to get to the next level, you need more efficient rocket jumps. You need rocket jumps that are going to take you further, faster, deeper, and put you in just generally better positions. Um, and sometimes I'm noticing like, yeah, you're getting the frags, but like uh, you're not getting the best position possible because your rocket jump control is like not perfect yet. And I'd also consider if you have the time um, and you feel like you, you still want to improve is like maybe consider working on your C taps um, because that's really going to be that's really going to be like something that you, you can use that can that can get you uh, all of those things. The second thing I'd mention is just like a general like leadership skill that you should work on. Um, and I know I can only speak to this because I typically can't speak to this, but because um, I don't have mumble comms. But in this situation, I see you typing in the chat like. Generally, what's going to make you a better player in this situation is not the, th the stuff that you do in game, but the stuff that you do like in, as far as like how do you talk to your teammates and how do you get them to improve? Because I'm getting a general feeling from you of like, wow, I'm doing, I'm making these really good plays. My team's getting destroyed. Help me out. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all these things. Look at all these things I'm doing for you guys. I'm getting Uber forces. I'm killing the medic. I'm turning them around. I'm getting frags. Like, where are you guys? Why, are you, why, why are we still losing? And like. That frustration is not going to be like as constructive as you think it is. I think you'll get 
better results if you do a better job of working with your team. So how can you do that? My recommendation is don't tell them stuff that's obvious. If you kill their medic and they die, they all just die, don't be like, oh, guys, why did you die? Like, that's really obvious. And like everybody on your team, you don't need someone to tell you, oh, like we all died. Like what you need is someone who can say like, okay, when we kill their medic, this is the game plan. So what if I was in that situation, what I would have said is, okay, I killed their medic. What you guys need to understand, my teammates need to understand, is that because we killed their medic, we have very large Uber advantage and they're going to all sacrifice for you. And you guys need to back up and make sure our medic doesn't die and just farm those frags as opposed to like staying overextended and getting caught out. Cause that's exactly what's happening. Um, so that's, that's one situation. Another situation was like, you know, getting back capped and there's probably frustration there. Like, uh, you know, this and that. So just like general things you can do is like, there's a more effective way to work with your teammates to make them better and you're not doing it right now. So leadership is like a very difficult skill to teach. So uh, there's like tons of stuff you can read online. There's books you can read, et cetera. But like generally speaking, that's what I'd recommend. And the third thing I'd recommend is uh, just like there's stuff that you're doing right now that you'd get punished for at a high level. So I'd watch some really high level roamer, roamer POVs and get a sense of their positioning because uh, there's stuff that you're doing that you're getting away with right now. Like, for example, when you're defending forward spawn, you're jumping into house and making a play and you're getting away with it because there's nothing there. But I think like maybe at a higher level, you might get punished for doing that kind of thing. So um, that's just something to look forward to in the future. But I think like generally speaking, the only reason I'm giving you that kind of advice is like you played really well. And I don't think there's like too many things that I would change about how you played other than just like general improvement, which you're going to work on anyways. So uh, anyways, thanks for submitting the demo. Hope you learned something in this review. And um, yeah, good luck in all your matches. Catch you guys on the next video.